Hello everyone, welcome to Homeschool Autism Life. My name is Jamie. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are not, thank you for spending some more time with me today. I hope that you're getting tons out of this um, relationship um, online. Um, I just want to say it means a lot to me. So thank you so much. Uh, this week's video, I wanted to talk about my middle school girls morning routines. Now, I share this because uh, it has evolved into something over time based on the needs of my little boy, or who's not little anymore, he's 15 years old. But my son has autism, and with that comes uh, an issue of sleep. He doesn't fall asleep super early in the evening, and it's usually like one or two o'clock in the morning, which means that I don't fall asleep until around 2 a.m., sometimes a little later, depending on how uh, quickly or not quickly he falls asleep. Um, and because this has become a very regular thing now, like every day sort of thing, it means that I've had to really adjust our homeschool schedule because I'm somebody who's always needed more sleep than the average bear. And <laughs> that just means that I'm not usually up until 10 ish in the morning, sometimes 11 if it has been really like a long couple of weeks. So there's a certain amount of, I have to build in a lot of self-motivation into my girls to get a lot of their personal stuff done ahead of time and then save our um, early afternoon uh, for read aloud, or like later morning, early afternoon for read aloud time and then our together subjects. And then Darian and I will do school in the afternoon, evening. Um, just that's the way it has worked out in our family. And I know it's not the norm. So I wanted to shout it from the rooftops. If you are not a typical, we got up at seven o'clock in the morning and we're done by noon it's okay. <laughs> I too have watched those videos. I'm like, oh, but then there's no way I'm getting up at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I know that. So uh, I just thought it's really good to be able to say that. And then I think it was like gather around homeschool where people were asking um, just when they started their day. And so many of them were like noon, one o'clock. And I'm like, yay not alone so you are not alone if that's the way it works for your family as well but uh, I the big thing is is that my kids are growing up they're 12 and 13 14 in December and so I'm having to be like okay how do I manage this um, independence but also giving them the the chance to be more independent and be just yeah, figuring all of that out. I have one girl who is like, oh, I have to have everything done by nine o'clock. And I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> but she's a very manic about it. And then I have another one who is like, oh, huh, shucks, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't get that done. And trying to allow for choices equal consequences with that as well. So this year, I found another free online printable. I printed it out and then um, I always forget to not have these done before I make the video, um, laminate them because otherwise there's a big glare on them. But I made each of them their morning routine and depending on which girl I was talking about, um, which female child I was talking about of mine. Um, there's a few changes depending. So with Anar going into grade eight and I am kind of preparing her more for high school type level stuff. And I think, I have to double check this, but I think in grade eight, some of these, like you can actually put some credits on the transcript for grade eight courses. So there's a couple things that I'm doing because I'm like, the. The head start I'm okay with <laughs> so it's a electives that we're doing but um, with yes this one's in ours so I've got the the ones that you know are gonna be really easy check off ones at the very beginning and then I have their math and Bible memory fix it grammar we're doing different where they're going to do it and we're just going to quickly check 
it if there's anything new that we have to do there'll be like a short little five minute oh this is how you do that and we find all of them and then we move on to that she is doing a science course by herself and so she is responsible for getting that done and I'm really happy with how it went last year um, you know the the quiz um, scores weren't the best but it was like the first time we were doing it I really feel like she's in the the swing of things and hopefully she will be able to keep that up a little bit better and then every gather around unit we have assigned readers I've put time in there and then read aloud time um, is going to happen between 10 and 11 depending on how Darian did in his evening. I left the time slots open because again I want to give them a chance to try and figure out what works best for them. Do they want to do math first the second they wake up or do they want to do fix a grammar? They will have the ability to put it in um, their schedule and make it work for them. And with Inar, I don't expect that she will use this. Once she has her routine down, she probably won't even look at this. But I think for Sienna, it will become important. So I did just put a little, yay, school time's happening again. Um, <laughs> and with Sienna, it's the same thing, except there is a spelling with mom and no science. We do cover science in our gather round homeschool stuff. And I think when she gets to be in grade seven, I will have her do that. She's in grade six this year. So I feel like that's, that's an okay thing to do um, with Inara because I'm trying to teach her independence and more high school level stuff. This is a skill that she needs to develop and I feel like it's going well. I also wrote her a thing and then again I want to give her a chance to be like okay I want to do this first or that first and we will sit down probably and go over what times work best for her and then I do want to see her checking this off every day because she does need that otherwise there's like I said the pretend oops I forgot um, and yeah both of my girls also have one of these um, morning baskets. I don't know if they're called baskets, but uh, I found them at our local dollar store. And this is one of those things where all of their morning stuff is in this. And I'll give you like an easy, so this is the reading book, her, their signed reader. This is her chosen history, her devotions and thankfulness journal is in here as well. Her math and then fix a grammar, science notebook, um, Bible no Bible memories in here as well. So everything is in there. And it's just really easy because they can take it and take it to the desk, take it to their desk in their room. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Um, take it to the table. Whatever they want, they have this available. And it's really straightforward and simple. So that is our morning routine. I'm really excited about how it's going to work. Um, and yeah. So I hope that this gives you ideas if you're struggling with how to manage um, life and your morning start to your homeschool. Uh, there's a lot of people who talk about how you as mom um, dictate how your morning, how your day goes by how you wake up and how you're involved with your kids. And again, I just wanted to say that if yours, your homeschool doesn't look like that, you're not the one who gets up with them and makes them pancakes and stuff. My girls make their own breakfasts at this point. Um, we have kind of a this is what we're having Monday and Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and this is what we're having on Thursday and Tuesday. Um, but it doesn't, yeah. Would I love to be that mom who is out making pancakes and I've got music going on the thing and um, yeah, there are times where I was like, that would be really cool, but I know that that's not life and it's not the way it's going to work at this point in our home and that's okay <laughs> that is okay and I just want to say that I want to say it out loud because I think it is worthwhile for people to hear when um, 
yeah, like everyone is different. Everyone's home is different and there's no shade given to those who do that. Like awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, but at the same time, if you can't pull that off, if you're a family who has a special needs um, child and you have say all the medical stuff that you have to do in the morning and you don't start until later, that's okay too. Um, that's the joy and the beauty of homeschooling is that you can make it whatever your family needs it and it's not dictated by someone else's schedule and I just yeah it took me a while to get there where I was like yeah I think I'm okay with this <laughs> there are times where I'm like oh that would be awesome and lovely but being willing to just let it go and have open hands God how do you want us to start our day um, I have found to be so helpful um, in just relaxing and letting our homeschool be whatever our homeschool is and not dictated by someone else. I love all those ideas and I think it's so cool um, that you could do that, but I'm also okay if my girls get a head start <laughs> and then I come in and we we do the the read aloud time in a different way. Like I just, I think that's okay too. So I hope this video was an encouragement to you. I hope that you are having a good start to your year. We won't start until after Labor Day uh, so that we can get in some last minute time with Daddy. He's got a week off, but uh, I know several of you have already started. So I pray that the start of your school um, year has been one of blessing. And yeah, thanks for watching and taking the time to watch this. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.